Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you to my backyard on this beautiful day after the tornadoes came through. We had one come through Memphis. Hopefully it didn't do a whole lot of damage. But this is my 12 week and final update on my MIG Grow 2022 Grow Bag Entry Contest Entry and she is beautiful. Now I wanted to do the video completely different but I'm not going to have time to harvest her and cook the greens because we've got to after I get through with this video we've got to get ready and head to the hospital and hopefully get him some medical help so i'm hoping to make it to the um live stream voting tonight which it shouldn't be set that way but i'm not the one doing it i think it should be polls where people could go vote for a day but that's just me and my thoughts but i want to let you see how beautiful and tall she's gotten of course we got warm so the cold greens are going to bolt and go to seed that's nature but that's okay you know what you can still eat the stems and the flowers regardless i'm going to bring you closer so you can get a closer view of her now we get to see her in all her glorious beauty and the pansies are still blooming like crazy and they taste amazing. The strawberries are still growing like crazy and I have one extra blessing to show. This happened during the week. I have a baby strawberry growing and I have another bloom. Look at that beautiful strawberry bloom. That will make a strawberry as well. Look how tall the Italian dandelions have become. The greens, of course, have gone crazy. My radishes are growing like crazy, too. I gotta watch this one. It's trying to bolt, which it will, because they have been so ungodly cold. And once it starts warming up, the only thing they can think of is producing seed. My radish back there it's still up oh, hold on it's still growing looking beautiful this one's a trying to go to seed but you know what that's okay i'm gonna eat that baby anyway and i will make a video of me harvesting my bag and cooking the food look at that that's it. Look at that beautiful, beautiful radish. And see, I don't mix up what my plants are like broke did. No, broke. I know that wasn't a radish. That was a turnip. I couldn't help it. I had to poke a little fun. The garlic is growing like crazy. You can see how tall my bag has gotten, even though it's the mustard bolting. But let me tell you, mustard flowers and stems are absolutely delicious and yes you can cook them and I'll show you I'll make a video and whenever I can it depends on how long it takes us at the hospital and I'll make a video and do a saute and show y'all how to do it but I'm gonna end up thinning out all my greens and all my radishes I'm going to cut back the Italian dandelions, saute them up because these leaves are getting big and tall and they're going to be so good in a stir fry. <coughs> Excuse me. And hopefully, I'm hoping that they will eventually go to seed because I definitely want to save the seed from the Italian dandelions so I can grow more. But just look at that beautiful bag. Look at all those beautiful beautiful pansies smiling at you isn't that just beautiful it's amazing what you can do as long as you believe in yourself 
and like I've shown you, I have brought you every step of the way every week. And I am looking forward to see, seeing who wins because some of these contestants have done an amazing job and I just want to encourage as many people as possible that yes, you can grow through the winter. Yes, you can do it outside. You can do it in a hoop house covered in plastic. Because not only is my grow bag thriving and an absolute glory, and it proves that it can be done, I also have a lemon tree that's still alive in the hoop house. And I overwintered petunias as well. Yeah, in a hoop house with no heat, no grow lights, no nothing. This is all natural. Absolutely all natural. Is that not just glorious? Oh yeah, hold on a minute. And yeah, you better believe I use that sauce. My sauce is all natural. There's nothing bought from the store in this bucket that fed my babies through this whole contest. It's been outside, oh my gracious, in the same weather that my grow bag has seen. And yep, frost did hit it. It did freeze, but guess what? That sauce. Oh, that sauce is still a growing and a thriving, and I'm going to use it for many more wonderful things. All natural, all organic, just like it's supposed to be. So, see, it's simple, easy. Anybody can do this. Look how beautiful she is. I am so proud of her. This grow bag has grown and thrived like crazy. And it has lived through some of the three ice storms, a snowstorm, three different tornado warnings. And guess what? Still alive. Still thriving. Everyone, if you get a chance, please go to Broke Farmers live stream today at 530 Central Time. Um, I set the link in my community tab my community page that way you know where to go and i would greatly appreciate your vote for that sauce as we are the best bonded team in this contest we are family and i look forward to seeing y'all in my next video uh i will do an update whatever we find out in the hospital i'm hoping that they take this man in and get his foot fixed before things get badly serious and I'm trying to stay as positive as possible like I said I apologize I wanted to do a cooking demonstration I just don't have time to do it all of y'all take care if you have any questions please feel free to ask me in the comment section below I will answer them as soon as possible Everyone, take care. Have a blessed day. I hope everyone fared safely through these horrible tornado outbreaks that rolled through. And each and every one of y'all are in my prayers. May you each be blessed, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Take care, everyone. <laughs>